Hi everyone, welcome back to Beyond Your Knowledge. So today we're going to be studying oxygen induced hypercamnia in COPD. So before we continue, I would like to share with you Colossians 3.15 and says that and let us the peace of Christ rule in your hearts to which indeed you were called in one body and be thankful. Amen. So we need to be at peace and also be thankful to our God okay well so with that in mind we're going to study oxygen induced hypercamnia in COPD so chronic obstructive pulmonary disease okay chronic obstructive pulmonary disease so to see this, we're going to see four compartments. So how many compartments? Four. So the first compartment that we're going to talk about, so for example, um, is going to be here, okay? So that compartment is talking about the baseline hypoxia, okay? So the baseline hypoxia. So then we have another compartment, which is going to be the uh, uh, um, pulmonary vasoconstriction. So let's just, um, yeah, um, yeah, so pulmonary, let's just, yeah, pulmonary vasoconstriction. I'm going to continue, uh, yeah, here we go. So we need to do more vasoconstriction, okay? So pulmonary vasoconstriction. Okay, so now the other is a high hemoglobin affinity for CO2. High hemoglobin Yeah, hemoglobin affinity for CO2. And then the last one Peripheral chemoreceptor stimulation. So all those peripheral chemoreceptor stimulation. So all those four, I mean, all those three are going to have a pathway, okay? So how this is going to be. So let's just start with the pulmonary. So we're going to do it. Um, that is a pulmonary vasoconstriction. I'm going to start with this one here. Into the different colors. And yeah, so this one is going to be orange. And then this one, we're going to do yellow. Yeah, I think. Got it. Okay, so let's just start. If we have, if we have the baseline hypoxia, the baseline hypoxia, if induced pulmonary vasoconstriction, this pulmonary vasoconstriction is going to cause vasodilation. So it's going to cause vasodilation. So the baseline hypoxia causes all those three pulmonary vasoconstriction, so pulmonary vasoconstriction, high hemoglobin affinity for CO2, and 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 the peripheral uh, chemoreceptor stimulation. But now, when you enter into when you are in pulmonary vasoconstriction, this one is going to cause vasodilation. Uh, this vasodilation diverts, but why this is uh, diverts blood? from well ventilated regions okay and yeah so but this one this is very important because is it that's happened after the oxygen administration so which is going to be here after oxygen administration So all those that are, has uh, the, the dark line here and then the third one, we're going to see is the effect. 
okay? So now, what is the effect when you have a baseline hypoxia that you occur from a vasoconstriction? Then after the oxygen administration, because of patient what in hypoxia occur after the oxygen administration, vasodilation diverts from blood. Um, I mean, diverts blood from well ventilated regions. Okay, from I I I need more room here. I just yeah, let me just fix it. There we go. From well ventilated regions. So then, what is the effect of that? <laughs> what is the effect of that? So the effect of that is going to increase your physiologic dead space. Uh, eh, uh, why is this writing our physiologic physiologic dead space got it um so how is that so it's going to be uvq mismatch okay well, so probably, I mean, I need to put this a little bit more up because then we need to do something here and need some more room. Yep, so this is the effect, but this doesn't stop here. So all these, all these need to meet something which is going to be, so all these, because we're going to join these, yeah, so we need to join that. And we need to join this one. And we need to join this one to cause CO2 retention. Okay, so what is up? Okay, so let's just. Okay, so let's just continue. Um, yeah, so then if you have, I forgot this go be blue here. Okay, so if, let's just go to the, to the one, um, yeah, this one. Now, if you have high hemoglobin affinity in the second compartment, I mean, actually the third, High hemoglobin affinity for CO2. So what is going to happen? So after oxygen, I mean the baseline hypoxia. So in the you have high hemoglobin affinity for CO2, but then after oxygen administration, you decrease your hemoglobin affinity for CO2, carbon dioxide, which is called Haldane effect. Okay, cool. Now, this one is going to cause increase with the effect. All this is going to increase your blood PCO2, and then this eventually is going to cause um, 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 the CO2 retention. Then, if we go to the peripheral chemoreceptor stimulation, the baseline hypoxia. So the, what's going to happen with them is going to decrease when you are after oxygen administration. So you're going to decrease your chemo receptor stimulation. But then what is going to be the effect? So the effect is going to decrease your mana ventilation. So all this, the, the purpose of the uh, all these things is to is to have uh, CO two retention, okay? So let me see if we can do something better here.
Yeah, now it's yeah, it's better. <laughs> okay, yeah. So all this goes, yeah. So just to recap, so we have three things in the first column. So there is three effects. I mean, on three things are going to have a baseline hypoxia, and according to the baseline hypoxia, it's going to happen something. Then we have after oxygen administration. Uh, after we give we do our oxygen administration, going to happen something, and then you have the effect. So now we're going to go through all this in the quick review, okay? So in the baseline hypoxia, you get pulmonary vasoconstriction. When you're hypoxia, what you get? Vasoconstriction in your pulmonary vasoconstriction. But then your patient is hypoxic, so we need to give oxygen. So give it oxygen, and the oxygen is going to to uh, the oxygen that is an a vasodilation, vasodilation diverts blood from well ventilated regions okay so then what happened then so then after that you have your effect so your effect you have your physiologic physiolo physiologic dead space which is going to be the vq mismatch okay so now we're going to enter into the baseline hypoxia but when the patient has high hemoglobin affinity for co2 so when you have a hemoglobin um, affinity for co2 that's mean that you're going to decrease your hemoglobin affinity for co2 this is how the effect after you give oxygen to the patient and then the effect is going to increase your blood co2 okay and then the third one remember all those is going to lead you to have a co2 retention and then the last one when you are in the baseline hypoxia you can get peripheral chemo receptor stimulation so and then you after you got that so if you give to the patient oxygen chemo receptor stimulation decrease and then the effect is going to decrease your ventilator okay I mean the amount of ventilation ventilation this there we go should be an N there we go okay yeah man of ventilation well and all those three things so leads you to have a carbon dioxide retention or CO2 retention well thank you so much for watching and remember that we can do all things through Christ and God bless